MXGP race one, 30 minutes plus two, round the Zelta Zergs, not an easy place to come to. not hanging about, is he? He's had his elbows out twice now. Those two by the bar. Hurlings takes over the lead, though, at the first time of asking. Doesn't want any more Spanish elbow. Geiser keen to keep Hurlings in his sights. Alongside Prado at the top of the hill, this is for second. Heart rates absolutely spiking through the roof at this stage of the race. Adrenaline fueling through their veins. Geiser still trying to hang on to that second place. Needs a good solid result after his last two wobbles. Cairoli looking for a way around the outside of Koldanov. He may just make it happen as well, but he's got to go long, he's got to be brave, but the outside line working is going to have to force the issue here, and he does. Cairoli then up into fourth place. Despite Cairoli being on the inside line here, just not close enough, or is he? Whoa! Teammates or not? Anything you can do, I can do better. Gloves are off in that side of the garage. Neither one backing down. Cairoli frustrated that he's behind his teammate Prado, saying, well, you're going to have to come through me if you're going to go by me, and that's exactly what he does this time around. Next GP race one, 30 minutes plus two laps. Oh, and Vevra, big mistake. Off the side of the track, that runs uh, cold enough wide, and Hurlings, just like he did a couple of years ago, is going to be alongside the Dutchman, but unable to execute the pass at the end of that rhythm section. Hurlings goes to the inside, he's alongside. Did he find a way through? Yes, he did. So Hurlings passes cold enough, moves into third place. Jonas has just found his way past Tim Geiser at the end of the waves. Good riding from the Latvian. Are we going to see a repeat move at the end of this next straight? Oh, he just gets neatly up the inside of Colton off this time around. Finds his way into fifth place. Tried it a lap ago. Going to go around the outside here. He will have the inside line after the finish line, but Koldanov may just have to close him down again. A repeat move, deja vu between these two. This time he pulls it off. Jeffrey Hurlings commits to the outside, rails the outside and gets that third place. Second position. Hurlings going for the outside. Cuts to the inside, beautifully done from the Dutchman. Prado thought he'd read it well, but wasn't able to come back to the inside and close down the deal, losing his patience. And Jonas has just dropped, dropped, dropped off the radar there. Oh, and Fevra! There might be a way through here, and there is for Jonas. How did Fevra even stay up right there? He loses third place to Jonas. Jeffrey Hurlings, what a ride. Take a bow, son. He's going to cross the line as a race winner once again. Jeffrey Hurlings wins race one here. Round nine, we are at the Bitchy MXGP of Affian, race one. Hurlings, a big mistake, has to rejoin the other side of the jump there. Cairoli, he'll try and be aggressive, here he is, he gets down the inside. Jonas has to yield. Oh! Big, big moment there for uh, Jeremy Siwa. Oh, we've got Wave Jellos on the side, and it's Prado. Prado has gone down. And Geiser, he's the one pushing on. Oh, 
are bar to bar through the waves. How brave are you, Tim? Whoa. Almost alongside. Jeffrey Hurling's here. Has he got something up his sleeve? Can he cut back and create some magic? Oh, Fevra throws away the lead on the final lap. And then there were three. And Kai Rowley into second. He goes to the outside. He knew Geiser was there. Defensive riding from Tony Kai Rowley. Jeffrey Hurlings wins race one here. Looks back and sees Kai Rowley there. Geiser third. Left and right, right to left, Prado and Hurlings. Hurlings looking to strike early, but guess what? Oh, he does. I was going to say, Prado will get his elbows out. Prado making the most of those mistakes. He's got the Dutchman on the outside, and he's going to control the inside here, and he takes back the lead on lap three. Still pushing, and he does find a way around the outside. Geiser now third. The fans like that on the bank. Oh, and he's down the inside, and just like that, Hurlings takes over the lead. But, oh, ugly, untidy, actually, that was from uh, Prado. Somehow, he managed to keep it on two wheels. He's alongside Prado as they drop into there, and Prado, and uh, Hurlings is going to run it down the inside. He puts the big panic rev on the Spaniard, who doesn't even flinch. And it's going to be a run to the line, and there is absolutely nothing in it! Oh! It ends in tears! Bikes and bodies in the track! Wow! What a dramatic end to race one. And Jorge Prado being stretched off.